Hey, what's up guys? This is Sky Force Life 5 here. In my previous video, I did a quick what's in a college engineering student's backpack. And then from that video, I kind of touched upon things that I would also bring because I'm a biker. So in this video, I thought I'd make a little comprehensive guide to how to prepare if you want to bike in college. I'll be showing you what I usually keep on my person as well as things that I accessorize for my bike and other general tips and tricks for just biking in college in general. The first thing you want to make sure is if your campus is bikeable. You want to make sure that it has bike racks and it has its associated places where you can make repairs or you can get help if you ever run into trouble with your bike. To check how bicycle friendly your university is, you can go on the League of American Bicyclists website. I'll have the link to the whole listing of their bicycle friendly universities in the description box down below. So it's a good idea to check it before you bring your bike over to college. In terms of things that I always carry on my person, first of which is definitely a helmet. I don't care if you think it's too cool for helmets, definitely always wear a helmet even for short excursion rides. Because over the summer I actually got into a car accident and it wasn't really my fault. But I have to say, my previous helmet really, really saved my life, honestly. I don't think I could continue my, um, cur my study as an engineering student if it wasn't for that helmet. As you can see in these pictures, there were multiple cracks along that impact, and it wasn't even a high-speed impact either. So always wear a helmet. Now, that aside, more for protective measures, for protective measures and also for allowing drivers to see you if you're in the <clears throat> at nighttime in the dark. Always wear these reflector bands. These are like those snap braces, so you roll them out and you just slap it onto your limb so that drivers can see you better in addition to the reflectors on your bike. Also, especially always use a U-lock. I know a lot of times U-locks are kind of a pain, so I usually use my U-lock in conjunction with my thicker cable lock. Sometimes when I can't get it to go around certain items, maybe like a tree or something like that. And I always, always recommend <clears throat> wearing the key to your U-lock on your lanyard and have it worn on around your neck at all times because it's much faster for you to unlock it as opposed to, I don't know how else you would carry the key in your backpack or something, but it's much easier to just leave it around your neck. Going along with the reflectors at night, definitely have, or in a rainy day, have lights on. A lot of times drivers don't always look out for bikes. It depends on where you are as well. You definitely want to have a front headlight as well as a rear light. I definitely recommend getting more powerful ones because it really would help you through a fog or through snow or whatever. This is not necessarily necessary, especially if you have a visor on your helmet, but it definitely does help to have a dedicated cycling glasses. You can probably wear most sunglasses as long as they don't fall off your face. Also, these are also not necessary, but what I found is it definitely helps with impact, especially since I like to bike on the grass sometimes to pass pedestrians that have some of these fingerless gloves and of course the winter style ones when you're in the winter time. But I'll get to that in just a minute. And another thing, this is not really bike related, but it definitely help and I totally recommend this for any college student, is to have a rain cover. This is a camelback rain cover and it's I like that it's a yellow light, easily visible color, so it's really good for biking as well. Oh, one other thing I totally forgot is that you probably want to keep one of these bike tools. It's really handy, it doesn't cost very much, and it's really nice if you have several um, accessories built into your bike or you sometimes you need to do your self-service repairs. Definitely nice to carry one of these tools. It's maybe around $15-$20, really a good investment. Okay, so now you're a biker, you definitely want to have some kind of windbreaker. Now, I didn't have this particular windbreaker for over a year into college. Actually, one of my friends got this for me. So for a biker, you don't need a hood. So this one doesn't have a hood. But what I did use, if you don't have a windbreaker, you can easily buy a cheap rain jacket from Costco, which is what I did my first year of college. And that really suited me perfectly fine because it was able to block a lot of the coldness from the wind just from the rain jacket and it's waterproof. So you don't really have to invest in a windbreaker, but if you have the money, I would. But here in my room breaker, I usually like to keep my biking gloves in here. So these ones are the um, Louis Garneau ones. And I really like that this one fits me very well. It's not very warm, so when it's not warm enough, you will probably have to get a much thicker glove. I like to use my ski gloves here. 
but uh, I definitely recommend wearing gloves in colder weather. Your hands would definitely one of the first things that freezes when you're biking. And also, one thing I highly recommend, even though it was pretty pricey at the time when I bought it, but these skull caps highly recommended they're super thin and light and they easily store in my little chest pocket here but these have saved me so many times they don't they're really unassuming i didn't think that they would keep me so warm but this thing keeps me warmer than winter hats highly recommend getting these are pretty expensive maybe around up to 30 dollars but a really worthy investment for bikers as for stuff that i keep on my bike, I do have a pannier here attached to my rear rack on my bike, which I use to store a lot of things. This really comes in handy when I put, say, my gym clothes in. And there's also several other bike equipment that I like to keep in it. Here in my side pocket, I like to keep my bike seat cover. I received this from my school, so it was free for me. If you really wanted to, you could probably buy one for really cheap, but you just put this over your seat. It comes really in handy, especially if it's raining. So you get out of class, and then this thing is protecting your seat, so you can just lift it off, and your seat's nice and dry to ride afterwards. Here in the main compartment is where I normally put my U-lock and my cable lock in here, and also my gym bag when I'm going to the gym. Here in the accessories compartment up here, I carry my uh, bungee cords that I use to strap in my lunchbox on my rack. And I also have here an old rusted padlock, which I used to do to lock up using my cable lock. But as you can see, it's completely rusted from the rain, so I definitely don't recommend you guys ever buying a padlock. It doesn't work anymore. Another compartment is where I store some of these degreasing wipes, so if I need to quickly clean down my bike frame, it's pretty nice. I also have my emergency patch kit here, which I got from the bike to work day, which is pretty handy in case you have road bikes in particular, they tend to get flats easier. And to replace the inner tube, or to get the inner tube out, you definitely need the associated tool. And then here in the back, I carry a little hand frame pump which is as you would might expect meant to help you in those emergency times to pump up your tires it can be mounted onto your frame but i personally rather keep it in my pannier where less people are likely to see it as for the other things that i carry on my bike i do have a bike bell which is not always necessary if you want to rather shout at pedestrians and make sure that your bike is equipped with reflectors and here is my mount for my headlight and i also recently got a water bottle holder which is pretty handy it's not really for my water bottle but if i ever get drinks at like starbucks or get some bubble tea or something and i don't want to you know squeeze the cup then i can just put it there i also have a kickstand which definitely comes in handy sometimes when you don't want to lean it against something and as you know i have my rear rack which is able to hold up to 25 kilos and that's pretty much it, what I accessorize with my bike, a lot of which is not really necessary, but I think a pannier is probably the thing that I use the most, as well as, of course, the rear rack. Now comes the question of what kind of bike should you bring to college? It really doesn't matter as long as you're comfortable riding it and then you properly maintain it, not like this guy. You definitely want to have a clean transmission, and I like to use this uh, lemon oil in the park tool to help clean it, and then I also lubricate it with this dry lube here. Now comes the question of what kind of bike should you bring to college? Honestly, it really doesn't matter as long as you're comfortable riding it. Though from my personal experience, I found that owning a mountain bike is much more convenient since you don't have to worry about getting punctures if you were to ride over grass when you're trying to pass pedestrians. And they tend to also have better gear ratios. As you can see, mine here has multiple gear options. So if you really could buy a new bike for college, I would definitely recommend a mountain bike as opposed to road bikes or hybrids. And if you have a little bit more money to spend, I would definitely consider getting disc brakes. I have, when I upgraded to disc brakes, my goodness, I could not go back. The stopping power is just incredible, and the way that you can modulate your braking is fantastic. But if you're one of those people who are going out of state and you think bringing a bike is really too much of a hassle, there's also a possibility of a bike share program, which my school has in its general city, which is also something you could look into if you would like to bike even though you don't want to bring your own bike. But that pretty much concludes this little guide. I'm sorry that it ran much longer than I expected, but I hope you found this to be very comprehensive. Let me know in the comments section down below if you would like to see more of this kind of video. I'd be happy to do more college-related videos. And as usual, please consider subscribing to my channel Skyforce95 for content like this. Thanks for watching.